Hi, Maria. Good evening. Hi, Martha. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, class. Hi, everybody. How are you? Working so far. Really? You're still working? Yes. Oh, my yes. God. But are you at your house or you are at work? We're at the office. Oh, my God. Yes. All right. And are, are you about to finish or? No, because it's uh, the middle of the month and we have to pay the employees. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that that's, that's something that takes a lot of time. Yes. Right. Uh, we are going to work until the midnight or more, I don't know. And tomorrow you still have to go to work? Yes, early. Wow. <laughs> God. All right. I wish you luck. So hopefully everything's going to be good. Thank you. <laughs> sure. So good evening, everybody. Hi, Jorge. Hello, Oscar. Hi, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Hi, Kenny. Hi, Ronald. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Teacher. Hi, Kenny. Good evening. Hi, darling. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, Daniela. Hi, Maria. Hi, Catherine. Good evening. So let's go ahead and start. So do you remember what we saw yesterday? Do you remember the topic we saw yesterday? <laughs> WH question. Exactly, WH question with the verb B. Do you remember the WH questions we use? Why, where, when, when, where, uh -huh. how, how, yes, why, which, why, which. Excellent. Very good. Yes, those are the ones we use to make the questions, and we use them with the verb be. Excellent. So let's go now and check a little bit different here. Okay, so what we are going to start seeing today, it's the adjectives and colors. Do you know what is an adjective? Do you know what is an adjective? Yes. And the adjectives is all that qualifies the number. Exactly. It's a description or yeah. a qualification that you mm -hmm. give to a name, to a name, to a thing, uh, to a person, to whatever. So it's like it's a description. Describe, describe the number. Exactly. Describe the name, describe the noun, um, adding something like a description. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So let me show you here a draw that I made for you. So this is, <laughs> this is my first draw that I did on, on paint. It was complicated to do it. It was very complicated, but I did it for you. So we can start <laughs> seeing the, the, the adjectives. So we're gonna start, uh, adjectives are not complicated. They are pretty easy to use. Uh, what we basically do is to learn them and, and we can start using them, adding to the names. So uh, for example, with this draw, what do you see in this draw? How can you describe this little person here? Happy. A little draw. Okay, happy. A little draw, okay. So do you think, or does the little man have uh, big ears or small ears? Big. They ha he has big ears. That's correct. What about his eyes? Does he have uh, big eyes or small eyes? Like a chino. 
like a chino. <laughs> <laughs> so, are they small or big? Big. Big? The eyes are big or small? Small eyes. The small eyes, exactly. What about the head? Is it a big head or a small head? You. Big head. Uh, me? Big head. <laughs> oh, you. oh, I had you, and I was like, do I have a big head? <laughs> All right. Yeah, it says uh, a big head. It's a big head. What about the body? Is it big or small? Tiny. Small. Tiny, yes. Tiny, small. That's correct. And the mouth? Is it a big mouth? or a small mouth? Is it a big mouth? So those are adjectives there. We have two adjectives that we use. We have big and we have a small, okay? And that's how we use it. Uh, we use them to add that qualification description to a noun. Utilizamos los adjetivos para dar una descripción para agregar un calificativo al nombre. And that's how we did. We say big ears. So, orejas. Grand. Small eyes. Ojos pequeños. Big mouth. Eh, boca grande. Small body. Cuerpo pequeño. Big head. Gran cabeza. Cabezón. Cabe. <laughs> So that's basically how we use it. That's how we make and how we use to describe a person, to describe a thing, to describe an object, describe whatever you want. You're gonna use adjectives, all right? And this is how we make them. We use adjectives to describe the appearance of a person or thing. Also, it's a word that modifies the noun. And we have here some examples, ugly cat, big nose, small eyes, uh, and then we can use it with sentence. He is handsome, she is pretty, okay? And here, there's something that you need to make sure to use it. Whenever we say or we use adjectives, we make it like backwards. Lo hacemos al revés. Cuando utilizamos adjetivos in English, lo utilizamos al revés. For example, ugly cat. En español sería gato feo. But in English is al revés. We put first the adjective and then the noun. Okay? Big nose. Nariz grande. En español primero ponemos el, el nombre eh, y luego ponemos el adjetivo. En inglés lo hacemos al revés. Small eyes. Ojos pequeños. But when we are using the verb be, when we are describing someone or something, then we put it at the end. Cuando estamos describiendo a alguien o algo, then lo ponemos atrás del verbo. So he is handsome. She is pretty. It is ugly. Or oh, it is big and so on and so on okay so do you have any questions so far con respecto a los adjectives or to the good, good. all right excellent very good so here i'm going to show you some adjectives that we can use and first of all i want you to repeat after me and then we're going to see their meaning okay so repeat after me. Small. 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 Slow. 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 Pretty. Slow. Pretty. 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 Fat. 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 Short. 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 Old. 
Old. Old. Old. Old. Good. 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 Easy. 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 Big. 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 Handsome. 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 Beautiful. 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 Yeah, beautiful. Thin. 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 Awesome. Thin. Awesome. 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 Young. Young. Long. Long. Strong. 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 Fast. 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 Ugly. 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 Lacy. 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 Tall. 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 New. 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 Bad. 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 Difficult. 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 Weak. Weak. Quiet. 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 Shy. 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 Intelligent. 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 Angry. 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 Outgoing. 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 Happy. 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 Sad. Sad. And friendly. And friendly. Friendly. Good. So what's the meaning of small? Pequeño. Exactly. Slow? Lento. Yes. Pretty. Bonito. Bonito. Fat. Gordo. Gordo. Short. Corto. Pequeño. Corto. Corto o bajo. Corto o bajo. Yes. Old. Yes. Yeah. Age. Yes. Yeah. Good. Bueno. Easy. Fácil. Fácil. Big. Grande. Grande. Handsome. Guapo. Guapo. Thank you. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Hermosa. Thank you. Uh, thin. <laughs> thin. Yes. Awesome. Increíble. Increíble o asombroso. Young. Joven. Yep. Long. Largo. Strong. Fuerte. Fast. Rápido. Rápido. Ugly. Horrible. Yeah. <laughs> Lazy. Eh, Araga. Yep. Tall. Alto. New. Nuevo. Nuevo. Bad. Mal. Mal. Difficult. Difícil. Difícil. Weak. Débil. 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 Quiet. Callado. Silencio. Mm -hmm. Callado. Shy. Tímido. Yep. Intelligent. Inteligente. Yep. Angry. Enojado. Enojado. Outgoing. Do you know what's the outgoing? It's a new word. Okay. So outgoing is the opposite of shy. A little of shy. Ex extrovertido. Exactly. Extrovertido. Someone that really likes to uh, meet people, talk, and like being like talking with people, that's an outgoing person. Happy. Feliz. Feliz. Sad. Triste. Triste. And friendly. Amistoso. Amigable. Exactly. Amigable, amistoso. That's correct. Good. Excellent. Very good. So I'm gonna start sending you pictures in the in the WhatsApp group. And I need you to do a sentence with each of the, the the pictures you can do it either you can say uh, the adjective 
y en the noun pueden decir el adjetivo y el nombre o la sentence completa, like el nombre, verb be, and the adjective. Okay. So let me send you the pictures there. Teacher. Yes. In with, era quick. Weak is devil. Thank you. Sure. So let me send you the first one. Let's see where you, you're here. Okay, I send you the first one. Look at the picture in the WhatsApp group and tell me the sentence with an adjective. The turtle is lazy. Very good. The turtle is lazy. What the else? The turtle is slow. The turtle is slow. Excellent. What else? Another one? Turtle is small. Okay, the turtle is small. Good. The turtle is green. The turtle is green. Good. Excellent. That's correct. Good. Let me send you another one. Okay. The turtle is beautiful. The turtle is beautiful. Yes. What about this one? The tiger is fast. The tiger is fast. Uh, what else? Cheetah does not cheetah. I think it's a uh, it could, jaguar. It could be cheetah, <laughs> it could be leopard. <laughs> yeah. Let's say it's a cat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The big so, cat. The big, the big cat, cat. yeah. So the big cat, leopard, uh, jaguar, tiger is, what else? Is fast, what else? The tiger is angry. Okay, the, the tiger is angry. The tiger is running. The tiger is running, good, excellent. That's not an adjective, but it's correct. Runner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's a runner. Yes. Good. Very good. Let me send you another one. What about this one? So what about this one? <laughs> Can you make a sentence with the last Picture I sent you. He is old. Yes. Old. Okay. Can you make the sentence? The grandmother red. Okay. The grandmother. Uh, the, the grandmother red. The grandmother. I'm sorry. I don't. Read. Read. Uh -huh. uh, no, it's not the really. Grandma, the grandma is lovely, beautiful, and careful. Okay, very good. Yes, uh, those are adjectives here. Good. She is pretty. Okay, she is pretty. What else? My grandma is lazy, teacher. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. That's 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 correct as well. Good. Excellent. Let me send you another one. What about this one? What about this picture? My sister is skinny. Okay, my sister is skinny. She is beautiful. She is beautiful. Yes. Good. What else? The girl is a little shy. Okay. She the girl. Is the girl, you said? 
a little shy. Think okay. That. She's a little she is shy. She's short. She's short. One more. One more. Um, the girl is happy. The girl is happy. Good. Excellent. Let me send you this one. And let me get it here. Okay, what about this kid? He's happy. He's happy. Very good. The boy is blondie. The boy is blondie. <laughs> What about he this? He is enjoying. He is enjoying. Good. What about that one? She is uh, outgoing. She is? She is sad. She is sad. She's tired. She's tired. Uh, I think that the girl is crying and afraid. Okay, is crying. And she is afraid. She's afraid. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. Yep. Very good. She's she afraid. Looks, she looks terrible. She looks terrible. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good. Let me send you another one. What about the last one? Is tall? Tall? Tall. 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 Okay. He's tall. tall. Good. What else? He's young. He's young. He's young. Mm -hmm. He is what? tall. He is tall. Yes. What about his body? He is. Yeah. Skinny or thin. thin? Yes. He's oh, thin. Teacher. Yep. Uh, if if I mean a, a person when I say body 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 skinny, it's often. No, it's not. No. Okay. You can say both things. Either skinny or thin. It's correct. What about this one? Big shield. What? Big shield. Big shield. He is fast. He's fast? No, fat. Uh -huh. He's fat. Yeah, I don't think fat. he's fat. No he creo que sea fat. Si de gordito no creo que sea rápido. Fat. Okay, he's fat. Yes, that's correct. Good. It could be. It could be. He's fatty. He's fatty. Fatty. Yeah. Yeah. You can say fatty or chubby as well. Oh, chubby. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Gordito. Yeah, gordito. <laughs> What about this boy? He is handsome. He is handsome. Good. He looks like a superhero. He looks like a superhero. Is he happy or sad? So happy. happy. He's he is super happy. He's super happy. He is small. He's small. Is he young or or, or old? He is young. He's young. Yes, that's correct. And the last one here. 
He is bad. He is bad. Good. What else? Angry. He is? He is angry. He is angry. Yes. He, he looks mad. He looks mad as well. Yeah. He looks crazy. <laughs> yeah. That's correct. Very good. So that's how we make and how we use the adjectives. Uh, so that's the only way we can go ahead and, uh, and, and use the adjectives to describe a person, a thing, <laughs> and provide an, like a description for the people to um, like to say something about a, pe a person, All right? So do you have a question so far with the adjectives? No. Okay, good. All right, so let's move on then. So we're going to practice something here. Uh, this question that you see here, what he or she likes. So this question, it means, or what you're asking is, ¿Cómo es la persona? So in this exercise, what we're going to do, it's we're going to make a conversation mm -hmm. asking about it could be here, brother, sister, mother, father, uncle, niece, nephew, whatever. Um, and then you're going to ask what she or what he like. And you're going to answer describing your relative. You can say, oh, he is handsome or she is pretty. She is young. She is... Um, uh, very tall, she's short, she's very fast, he's uh, very angry, he is very happy, and so on and so on. Okay, what you need to do is to describe one of your of your family members. Okay, and we're gonna do uh, an example here so we can see what are we going to do. Okay, so Jorge, can you help me with this? Uh, you're going to be uh, letter letter A, and I'm gonna be letter B. A. Um, to coordinate the pregunta, right? Uh, you have to say this. We're gonna make the the conversation here. So hey, and you say my name, and you ask me a question. Hey, Chris, do you have brother? Uh, yes, I have one brother. Really? What uh, he like? Uh, he is very short. Uh, he is um, very fast. He is also, uh, he's fat. <laughs> and yeah, he's fat. <laughs> and... <laughs> And he is old. All right. Now we're going to change it. Um, hey, Jorge. Do you have brother or sisters? Yes, I have um, one brother. Okay, really? And what's he like? Um, he is um, tall, uh, young, um, Thing. Um, that okay <laughs> very good excellent okay. so that's what we're going to do you're going to describe your one of your family members that you say either your father your mother uh, sister brother niece nephew whatever and you're going to start describing the person with the adjectives we just saw all right so <laughs> If you can screen capture this uh, conversation and then we can go ahead and make the groups, okay? So do you have it? Okay. okay. So let me make the groups then. Here we go. Bella. 
Teacher. Yes. Good night. Hi, good evening. Me, good evening. Este, me acabo de incorporar, no, solo copié el texto, pero no, no sé qué es lo que van a hacer. Ok, lo que van a hacer es que van a hacer una conversación. Eh, uh -huh. Y la conversación se basa específicamente en describir a un miembro de su familia. Eh, si usted uh -huh. ve la, en la conversación, iba así, uh, hey, y luego pone el nombre, uh -huh. do you have brother, do you have a sister, do you have a, a, a mother, do you have a father, whatever. Yes. Y, si tengo hermano, uh -huh, y todo eso va. Exacto, okay. exacto. Aquí, aquí okay. le puede cambiar por brother, por sister, por tío, por tía, primo, sí. whatever. Y luego responde, yes, I have one brother, one sister, one uncle, one nephew, lo que el, el que quiera describir. Y luego la otra persona va a preguntar, okay. really, what he or she likes. Esta pregunta significa cómo es él o cómo es ella. Okay. Entonces ya al, al final, pues la persona va a contestar, he or she is, y va a utilizar alguno de los, de los adjetivos que vimos. Que okay. fueron Good. small, slow, <laughs> handsome y todo eso. Ok, ok. Con las imágenes que mandó, ¿verdad? Yes, de cómo that's está. correct. Ajá. Ok. Yep. Va. Vale. Dale. ¿Le sale la opción aún para join? No. Ah, va. Ah, pues déjeme ponerle un grupo. Ya. Mm, sí. Ah. Uh, Son dos. Let me move you here. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Okay, I see. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, one brother. Really? What he like? Um, he's uh, very angry and very he, he is very tall and very uh, he is very intelligent mm. interesting very good um, do you uh, have Hey David, ah, do you have brothers? Yes, I am one brother. I have. Ah, I have one brother. Really? What he like? He he's happy and hungry. He fat. <laughs> 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 okay. Um, um hey darling, do you have brother or sister? Yes, I have two brothers. Really? What he he like? Um the first is tall, is angry, is very, very, very fat. And the second is very, very, very. Yes. <laughs> and the second is happy, is lazy, is short. Oh, and, and think or think? Think. Think. So That's one, all. So one is fat and the other one is thin. Mm -hmm. Yes. The right. first is fat, very, very fat. <laughs> and the second is thin. Okay, good. Okay, um, David. Hi, da hey, David. Do you have um, mother? Mm, yes, 
I I have one brother. No, mother. No. And... ¿Qué dijo? Um, ¿Alguien más de su familia? Ah, mm, mi papá. <ríe> My father. Hey, your dad. Sí. Espera que me salí de la captura. Mm, permítame. Aquí está. Entonces, eh, otra vez le digo. Eh, ¿Eh? Podría ser otra vez, no malo. Creo. Usted me pregunta hey. para mí. Vaya. Hey, uh, Jessica. Do you have. Um, puede ser cualquier eh, cosa, ¿verdad, teacher? Ya, yeah, puede ser you tío, have... tía, nephew, whatever. Do you have a um, son or daughter? Uh, yes, I have. Uh, ¿Cómo puedo decir? Porque como aquí mi papá voy a describir. No, porque le está preguntando si tiene hijo o, o hija. Uh -huh. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, para decir hija. Eh, daughter. 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 Mm -hmm. eh, yes, uh, I have daughter. One. I have one. one. Yes, I, I one. Okay. Yes, I have. Yes, I have uh, one daughter. Okay. Really? What's she like? Uh, she is. Um, para decir que es pequeña. Es small or short. Small. Oh. Es, 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 ¿Cómo, perdón? Es... Puede decir ya sea small o short. Uh, she is small. Yeah. Okay. Uh, she is. Uh, is black. Oh, ice, you mean? Ice, ice, black. Okay, so she has. Ah, uh, she has. Mm -hmm. Black eyes. Ah, uh, black eyes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, uh, cabello largo. She is. No, oh, she has. She has. She has. Has long hair. Has mm -hmm. long hair. Long hair. Long hair. Hair, uh -huh. Okay. Hoy pregunto yo. Okay. Mm -hmm. eh, hi, Jorge. Do you have... Eh, le pregunto a esto. Lo que, lo que, lo, eh. Le puede preguntar, ya sea, do you have brothers? Do you have, do you have brothers? Do you have sisters? O puede decir, por ejemplo, do you have... Do you have uncles? Tiene tíos. Eh, do you have um, nephews? Sobrinos. ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo? Eh, uncles es tíos. ¿Perdón? Eh, uncles es tío. Uncle, uncles. 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 Un uncles. Uh -huh. Uncles. Entonces puedo decir, hey, eh, Hey, uh, hi Jorge, do you do you have uncles? Good, yeah, that's correct. Okay. Yes, uh, um, I have um many, but I describe <laughs> uh, <laughs> I describe uh, one <clears throat> one uncle. Uh, uh, Really? Mm -hmm. Really? What? Uh, he, she, like? No, ahí solo tiene que ser ya sea he or she. Uh, en este caso, como uh, lo está preguntando por tío, que es masculino, uh -huh. entonces tendría que ser. Uh, she? 
No, para masculino, ¿cuál se utiliza? He. 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 Mm. Really what he like. Very good. <laughs> uh, he is um, that um, intelligent. His teacher of math. His math teacher. Um, his math teacher. Mm -hmm. His math teacher is very intelligent. Uh, is uh, old, um, tall, um, very, very friendly. All right. <laughs> very, very friendly. Yes. Good. Is that? Okay. <laughs> okay. So now you can keep practicing. So until you can master it. Lo pueden seguir practicando hasta que ya lo mastericen y hagan la conversación ya como que sin, sin estarla viendo. Okay. Okay. Keep practicing. Okay. okay. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. Afternoon. Oh, really? I'll see you tomorrow then. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bye, María. Bye. Take care. Bye, Nelson. Bye. Hi, teacher. Hi. So is Martha leaving? Hello. Ah, I thought you were leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I heard that you were saying like bye, bye, bye. Uh, <laughs> so I thought, I thought yes. you were <laughs> We have a conversation. Good. Good. Yes. So did you did you finish the conversation? Yes, yes. Okay. Very good. All right, so you can keep practicing. I'm gonna check another group, okay? Okay. Good. Is, uh, my sister is, I don't know, my sister looks beautiful in some days. <laughs> well, my sister is blue eyes. See? Does she Sorry. have blue eyes? Yeah, because my my sister is all different. <laughs> yeah, really. And, and who and who does he uh, she like? Uh, I mean, who does she looks like? It, that's that's he that she looks like your father, like your mother. Like yeah, yeah, my. She look her let's see, let's see my father. She so does father. does does your father has uh does your father have blue eyes? Yeah, my my grandma. Take a look, take a look, my sister. <laughs> she is my sister, did you? Wow. Yeah, yeah. she she's pretty. There is then the different skin to me. <laughs> Yeah. I born I born in the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Teacher, uh, can you tell me some some time when the finish clash class? Okay. Sorry. Sure. Sure, that's fine. Hey chicas, sigan les toca. You turn. Okay. Adelie. Hi. Hi, Adelie. Do uh, you have brother or sister? Yes, I have I one brother, I one sister. Really? What he what he like? Mm, he she My sister is tall, is thin, and mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, tall, um, thin, um, 
have a strength. Here what? Mm. Strange. It's strange. No sé cómo se lee. You mean, you mean the, the, the hair? El, el cabello? Uh, yeah. A straight. Straight. A straight. Like liso. Uh, yes. Uh -huh. A straight. Uh -huh. Straight. A, a straight hair. A straight hair. Uh -huh. straight. Oh, I'll... <laughs> mm. She's beautiful. <laughs> Good. In conclusion. <laughs> okay, now you make the conversation to to Kenny, Adelie. Okay. Hi, Kenny. Do you have brother or sister? Pero no quiero buscarme. Ay, creo que ya vamos a salir del grupo. Ya está sacado. Sí, ah, no. Ay, no, hey. esperando. <laughs> ah. Hi. So, Hi. Do you finish the conversation? Yes. Sí, yes, okay. yes, yes. Can I hear it? Yes. Okay. No entendí. <laughs> can, can I que hear si it? Puedo. Que si la escuchamos o que si... Que si yo la puedo escuchar. Ah, sí. All right. Yeah. Go. Okay. <laughs> ah, que nosotros conversemos mientras te esté escuchando. Sí. Yep. Ah, ok. Hey, Ronald. Do you have brother or sister? Yes, I have one brother. Really? What's he like? He... He is a picky. He is um, he is what is serious. It? He is picky. Picky. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Exigente. He is um, intelligent. He is in dependent. Independent. He independent. Independent. Okay. okay. He is playful. Um, He is in Sirium. He is? He is in Sirium. In Sirium. Sirium. Or oh, Sirius. Sirium. Ha, Sirium. Ha. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Okay. Only by um, Hey, Jennifer, do you have brother or sister? Hey, Jennifer. Lo siento. Perdón, perdón. <risa> le, le estoy cambiando el nombre a ella. Me dice, ya me dijo como tres veces quién. Jennifer. Ya. Perdón, vaya, este. Ah, perdón. Stephanie. Stephanie. Perdón. Vaya. Hey, Stephanie, do you have brother or sister? Yes, I have one brother. Really, what he is like? He is uh, impossible or oh, impos impulsive. Impulsive. How do you impulsive? Impulsive. Impossible. 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 También es impossible. Impulsive. Ah, impulsive. ¿Cómo era, perdón? Impulsive. Impulsive. Uh -huh. um, picky. Okay. Um, intelligent. And serious. And friendly. Okay, that's it. Solamente. Very good. Excellent. Great job. So now we're going to okay. go back to the main room. Okay. Okay. Let's go. All right. 
so uh, we're going to continue uh, now, now with the adjectives. We're going to see something else that we might all know. Uh, the first thing that I want to share to you, it's I will send you a vocabulary list with a vocabulary about clothes. You know what it's clothes? Cerrado. Uh, no, clothes. Ropa. Ropa, yes. So I just send you two pictures there with... Um, with some vocabulary that you can use to talk about clothes. And we have, for example, a swimsuit, a swimming shorts, a scarf, gloves, hat, a cap, uh, boots, a woolly hat, sandals, slippers, shoes, uh, trainers, jacket, coat, raincoat, Jumper, uh, sweet shirt, uh, car car cardigan, t shirt, top, shirt, tracksuit, trousers, jeans, uh, shorts, skirts, dress, dressing go, pajamas, socks, bra, and underpants. So that's vocabulary that you can use in order to talk about clothes. Um, so you can have it there. You can start. Do you have any questions so far with that vocabulary? Any words that you don't know? Yeah, teacher. Yep. In Salvadorian, what will be cardigan? I think it's like a sweater. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it looks like a sweater. Yeah. Like, like a yeah. Yeah, it looks like a sweater. I I don't I'm not sure, but I think that's something for girls, I guess. I think, but I'm I'm not sure. But yeah, it's it's like it's like a sweater. So and besides the 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 clothes vocabulary, we also gonna see the colors. And I think you all know the colors, right? Also, let me show you here this picture with colors that I know you know already, but just where we can uh, practice and check them out. So for colors, we have uh, black, we have brown, we have gray, white, yellow, orange, red, pink, purple, blue and green so that's the the vocabulary for colors i think colors we all know the colors right no questions with colors no no okay cool and the way that we use the colors is similar to the ones that we use it with the adjectives para los colores Eh, lo utilizamos similar a como utilizamos el, los adjetivos. And we have here the blue jacket, the brown shoes. So así como utilizamos los adjetivos que poníamos, por ejemplo, the ugly cat o the lazy turtle, que poníamos el adjetivo antes del nombre, lo mismo hacemos con el color. The blue jacket, the brown shoes. Okay, la chaqueta azul y los zapatos cafés. Luego, eh, we can use it as well uh, with the verb be. My t-shirt is white. His sweater is gray. Okay. So we can use it as well in order to describe things, describe uh, clothes in this case. Y el color lo vamos a poner siempre antes del nombre. O si estamos haciendo una oración completa, después del verbo. Okay. Picture. Yes. Uh, how do you say turquesa? Turquoise. Uh, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Sure. All right. So in order for we can practice, we're going to do the last three minutes. Well, four minutes here. <clears throat> we're going to do this. We're going to practice 
using this sentence. My favorite fruit, my favorite vegetable is. And you're gonna start describing your favorite fruit or your favorite vegetable, okay? You're gonna describe it using the adjectives we saw, a small, big, um, I don't know, tall, you can say tall, but small, big, green, um, short, things like those. And the rest of the team is going to guess what is your favorite vegetable or fruit. Los demás vamos a adivinar cuál es su favorite vegetable or fruit. Okay. So do we have any volunteer who wants to start? Grape juice. Any volunteer? No. Okay, let me choose one then. Um, let's see. Hey, Oscar. Can you please describe your favorite fruit and vegetables? And the rest, we're going to guess what is it. Teacher, my connection is unstable. For the reason I can, I can hear you so clear. Okay, can you hear me now? Oh, why? Okay, all right, no worries. That's fine. Uh, Jorge. Okay. Can you describe your favorite fruit or vegetable? Your or mine? No, yours. Mine? Yep. Um, my favorite vegetable, vegetable. Mm -hmm. Is um, small. Uh, it's uh, color um, color coffee. Okay, a brown. Oh, brown. Color color brown. Uh -huh. Color brown. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the eh, bueno, ¿qué le puedo decir? Me encanta el café. <laughs> uh, Me too. The, super. The uh, brown for um the stern color. Okay. Is it round, long, large? Uh, something. Oh, this is uniform. Uh, uh, that's not uniform, but um, I will cook uh, fries. Mashes. Oh, I know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, any guesses? Alguien sabe que cuál es su favorite uh, vegetable? Is it brown and short? Brown, short. Small balls. Balls. Yeah. Any guesses? Pot potato? Potato. Potato? Yes. yes. Very good. Excellent, Kenny. Great. Good. So that was basically uh, how we use the colors, how we use the adjectives. Uh, that's pretty much how we're going to use them with the verb be. Uh, remember, we use them to describe things to describe persons, to describe objects. Um, y que siempre los utilizamos antes del, del sujeto o si lo estamos utilizando en una oración después del verbo. Okay? So, that was the class for today. Do you have any questions so far? 
No? All right. No, everything is okay. Very thank good. You. Excellent. So then, thank you very much. Uh, have a good night, and we're going to see you tomorrow. I hope so. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care, everybody. Good night.